Hello. Today, I've come for another walk, this time into history at Boxgrove. I've come to the Boxgrove Priory. And actually, to begin with, I'm going to have a look around at the Boxgrove Priory's lodging house. Mind your head as you go through that door. The Boxgrove Priory lodging house is, I suppose, the most dramatic part of the Broxgrove Priory, mainly because it's a ruin and it lends itself to imagination of what may or may not have transpired here, the various monastic people who could have visited or worked here, who worked the land. As a lodging house, of course, the, the main head honcho, the, the abbot, um, would have been living at the very top, but also quarters for travellers. If you were on a pilgrimage, say, and you needed somewhere to stay, then you would go to a monastery. The monasteries, especially somewhere like this, the Benedictine monastery, they would open their doors and allow you to stay. They would give you food and probably advise you on the, the route to wherever you were going. This Boxgrove Priory is near Chichester in West Sussex. You, you may be en route perhaps to Canterbury, so there would be people on hand to feed your horses, give you food as I say, give you shelter and a bed most importantly. It is an evocative building. It's on three stories, although the bottom story was really the, the cellar um, and the main hall would have been on the first floor and then as I said before the living quarters above. But I think ruins rather than completed buildings is what opens the mind to imagination. It gets you wondering and thinking. You can see where the doors were, where the fireplaces were. You can imagine the travellers and the monks sitting around sharing some fine ale or wine and enjoying each other's company in this otherwise quite remote place nestling here at the South Downs. I have to say, this is a rather fantastic church. I know it's been recently um, restored and up on the ceiling. Some very William Morris reminiscent style um, pictures. Obviously not William Morris at all, but maybe, maybe he was inspired by that. <laughs> beautifully kept, beautifully looked after and a magnificent stained glass window. It's hard to believe that there's elements of this church which are actually far older than those ruins we were just looking at. Keep hearing aeroplanes and that's because we're, um, we're near Goodwood. Not quite why there's many aeroplanes there, I'm not sure. Well, it's time for me to say goodbye to Box Grove Priory. I thoroughly enjoyed the visit. I just wish I knew a lot more about it. But I'll take you on another walk somewhere else another time. <laughs>